exciting day today. We're going cross country sit skiing. Look, we have snow. Let's go. First, I'm going to show you how I prepare to go cross country sit skiing. Now, here's my sit ski. Very light. As you can see right now, I don't have any skis on it. But I like to get my sit ski ready here at home in the garage before I head out to the trails because fumbling around getting the skis on the sit ski in the cold, it's not very fun. And for me, I want to get in my sit ski as fast as I can when I'm on the trail, hit that trail quickly so I can keep warm and not freeze. Because if you're taking five, ten minutes to get your sit ski put together in the cold, you'll get chill set in and it's hard to recover from that. That's what I find anyway. So here we go. Here's my skis. I'm going to show you how I put my skis on and how I load my sit ski in the van. So here we have uh, these straps. Keep my skis in place. I'm sliding all over the place and scratching the, the wax job on them. Whoops. I like much easier that way. Okay. So these are Fisher skis, classic. Need to wax them. We're almost due for a wax here. Okay. And there's no left and right for the sit ski. So you see here these bindings. You put on. You put an extra binding on front back because they clip on. You can see right in here. The little groove it clips right on to these little uh, the screws that are going through. Get a little loose there. Oh, that's good. We're good. Okay. Check. Tight. Tight. Okay. So, here we're going to do it this way. Okay. So what you do is you line up. Oops. Get your bindings uh, open as far as you can. It makes it easier to slide them on. So there's the front one. Slide that on. The back one. Snap on like that, and that is not coming off. Now that I say that, you watch today. <laughs> My luck. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna do the same thing in the second one. Get your bindings open as far as they'll go. Makes it easier to click on. And I don't know if you can see that there, Jim. Line them up. Oops, there's that. There, that's the front one. Yeah, click it on. And the back one here. Oh, I gotta line it up better. Lift this up. See, this is one of the things that could happen when you're out on the trail and you start getting cold. Sometimes it doesn't go as smooth as you want it to. So I'm gonna undo this one and reline it up. There, with the back and the front. There we go. See, I'm in the garage and my hands are getting cold already. Snap it on and snap it on. Okay, so there we go. This is, I'm not going to put this down on the, the concrete garage floor, but there's a sit ski. See, I had my nephew add this plate to it so I can put my feet back under me. That'll give me more leverage when I'm going up hills and I find it easier for me to turn. Uh, I'm more compact in before. There's a foot plate that stuck out here, and my feet came out to about there, and it was just too hard with your feet out in front of you, especially going up hills because you're basically pushing against your own weight, forcing you back. But with my feet under, I'll show you later on too, a better example. With your feet back further, you can get over top and push and get more of a hard push. Okay, so what I'll do is what I do is put it in here upside down, protect. Protect, oops, and protect the skis, the wax skis. There we go. And then I'll grab some of these poles. I always have extra poles. So I'm going to bring, there's a left and a right for the poles because when your, arm, your hands go in, what was that, right? Yep, yeah, that's your right. And then my 
left. There's my left. I'm going to bring uh, just an extra, extra set of poles just in case. You never know what may happen. And that's all. I'm going to leave my bag here. Okay, so that's it. I get everything ready before I leave. And just load myself in and off to the trail I go. We'll see you there.